Hello? Uh, JMG here. Um, here to talk to you about my weight loss journey. Now, the journey hasn't started yet. That's why we're here in my house, in my room, where nothing gets done. The room's a mess. Uh, in my bed, I need to shame the sheets. Um, there's carbonated drink water bottles all over the place. I need a lot of help. <laughs> so basically, what I'm telling you guys, I am JMG, and I'm 28 years old, and I'm trying to get desperately in shape. So if you guys can help me at all, you guys can give me some pointers, anything will help. Motivation, I would love it. So the reason I'm making this uh, YouTube channel is so I can keep myself held accountable. And by doing that, I'll have to go ahead and look at all my videos, edit them, but then I have to throw them on every day. So if I'm not doing much, if I'm not doing what I have to do, I won't have a video for you all. For you all. And if I don't have a video for you all, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So this is my first video I'm doing on JMG Weight Loss Journey. Okay? So a couple things about myself. Um, I like to write I like to write uh, positive notes on my uh, in my room. Up here it says, you are confident, I am confident, I hold my head up high. On this side of the wall, I have a yellow page that says, enjoy your homework. You love to study, I love to study. Just little things like that. Up here, you are motivated, I am motivated, you are ambitious, I am ambitious, I am assertive. Over here, on the other side of my room, I have, you are fit, I am fit, I am full of energy. Over here by my wall over here, I think you guys can see it, Um, right there, right? Over there, I have a few things. I have my calendar. I, have, I am present. I'm conscious. I'm, I'm joyful, enthusiastic, successful, unlimited, supreme. I am successful, and it says read right there. So yeah, guys, this is not going to be a by accident type of thing. It's not going to just. I'm not just going to fall into getting into shape. I'm not just going to trip over it and lose all this weight. <laughs> this has to happen on purpose. So that's why I do all these things on purpose to keep me keep my head in the game. So if you guys can have any tips or anything like that to keep me in the game, I'd really appreciate it. There you go. So yeah, like I said, JMG here. Um, I gotta start off by being honest with you guys. I weigh 315 pounds. I um, don't do much exercise. Uh, I eat out a lot, and I like candy. I like I like chocolate. That's my favorite candy. Um, I have done some things in the past to kind of hype up my exercise train, if you will. I've done a lot of things. I've, I've started cooking at home. I've started being vegan. I'm not a vegan, but I try. Um, it's a very good, you know, it's a very good way to eat because you don't have as much calories and a lot of green things, you know, and there's a lot of energy though, but not many, not much calories as far as like empty calories, like as far as there's a like candy. Um, so vegetables are really good. Fruits are very good. Lentils are very good. Nuts are very good. Um, good fat oils are good for you. Like, um, well, olive oil is okay, I guess. Um, well, so what I'm trying to say is, uh, I'm a big guy and I'm trying to lose weight. And I don't have much to go on off of. I got a lot of tips from friends. They say, one tip from one of my friends named DJ, he says, go on intermittent fasting. I see that. I, I look at it. It has a lot of good things, right? It says, basically, don't eat um, for about 14 hours every day. Maybe 16, maybe 18. But it, the, the number's up there. So you go to sleep. You wake up. That's eight hours of non-sleeping, non-eating, non-eating, I mean. And then you wait maybe... Uh, six more hours throughout the day just drink black coffee drink lots of water maybe white green tea or black tea whatever you like and let that fill you up for this for the time being then you go ahead and start your meal start your start eating your meals around uh well, what was maybe four o'clock that day maybe four or three or something like that then you eat a little bit and your stomach will be smaller because you haven't eaten so much i think so that's a good thing. And um, my other friend, he eats meats and stuff like that. He just says, hey, man, you got to work out every day. You know, the more you work out, the more you put in, the less calories coming out. Things like that. You know, I get different stories to tell you guys. But I'm going to be honest with you guys here now since we're being all honest. I want to show you guys my body. I'm going to show you my body and tell you where I have come from, okay? I'll show you pictures of before, but here's my from right now but pictures. So, so I go ahead and here's my before pictures before video yes I have a big belly never thought in my whole life I would have a belly this big I'm telling you very much honesty <laughs> I used to look at people with this big stomach sorry I'm moving around so much um, and think wow like how the hell did that happen to him <laughs> I'm sorry for my swearing but it's you know it's life happens in different ways you know so there's me 
There's me. There's me. I'm just an overweight 28 year old guy, you know, that needs some help on this journey. So if you got any tips or um, you would like to join me on this journey, that'd be awesome. Well, I took the shirt back on. Put the shirt back on. <laughs> Don't want any distractions around here. But uh, yeah, um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, when I was 21 years old, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And then I was placed on uh, anti-seizure medication. And that anti-seizure medication, I'm not sure which one I took, made me gain uh, over 100 pounds. I used to be roughly weighing 2, 200 to 210. Now I weigh roughly 3 to 310. So about a hundred pound difference. Yes, it's a lot on the joints, a lot on the weight, a lot on the bones, a lot of stress on my body. So it happens, you know, but the tumor's gone. It wasn't cancerous, you know, um, it was benign. So that's a good thing. And uh, so now I'm just trying to enjoy life. So what do I do for fun? I drink uh, every weekend, maybe not every weekend, but I try to drink once a week, you know, even if I don't get buzzed or tipsy, a beer here or there, you know. It just gives me a different state of mind as opposed to the state of mind I'm in now. Because now I feel like, well, a lot of things have changed, you know. I used to be, you know, a go-getter. You know, I used to be skinny. Um, not skinny in any way, but in shape, I like to say. And, uh, yeah, as, not as much anymore. Uh, my confidence level, stuff like that, you know. Um, hard for me to talk to people. Hard for me to make eye contact. Um, hard for me to do a lot of things. To go out by myself and go grocery shopping you know I do that a lot of stuff with my mom so yeah it's just an angel but um yeah that's a lot of stuff I do by myself okay guys yep this is a, a before picture of me back in 2009 maybe 10 uh just want to show you guys where I came from and kind of how I'm used to myself look